For me, Charvel is way up there as one of my favorite guitar brands ever since the stuff that they brought out in the 80s to what they do now. I just love it. I love the shapes. I love the specs. I love that there's not too much in the way of uh, in, the, in the range there's the dinky there's the sandemus and there's the socal and that's about it but what they do bring out and, and what they do have i love i'm really excited to look through the new 2024 range that they've just brought out it's just before nam 2024 so let me know what you think about what i think and let's get started okay so this first one here this red sandemus already perfection so it's a japanese in a really cool metallic red i said this in the last couple of videos actually that i've never been into red guitars but recently i've been seeing all these really cool red guitars this is definitely one of them the other one was the badlands what's it called arrest me red and i did another one i think it was the esp red candy apple red on the esp so so good spec wise look jb in the bridge perfect compound radius fretboards 12 to 16 perfect and they're using the goto uh, ge 1996 gt goto 199 goto ge 1996 t i know the tremolo i know what i'm talking about i love this tremolo um, later on in the year i'm having a guitar built with this tremolo and it's so so good a third of the price of a floyd rose but just as good made in japan love those things i, I hope that more brands start putting them on their guitars as opposed to the floyd rose specials or, or even the 1000s there's just a much better tremolo it's got the the spoke wheel for the truss run adjustment it's got a bolt on neck with maple uh, with graphite reinforcement i want to see some more pick oh, gallery oh look at that look at that cutaway as well it looks like they've, have they gone deeper on the cutaway on the sandemus i've got a socal but i don't have a sandemus so pretty sure my socal doesn't have a cutaway like that it's more of a traditional fender type love this guitar would love it if they put locking tuners on which they have not so few uh, double locking tram uh, guitars have them just for ease of uh, string changes not for anything else obviously okay so that's really cool next is a another japanese sandemus in satin black with the gold hardware reminds me a lot of my, one of my friends has just had a um a jackson pc1 uh, custom built and they've gone for the black but there's, there's a gloss black actually but it's got that kind of look so yeah another japanese one seventeen hundred dollars looks pretty much the same spec wise again with the jb and the bridge i didn't even look at the single horse before but these are the flat strat ssl probably be using them about five percent of the time but i'm a big fan of the jb again that goto uh, luck and tremolo really good oh ebony for ebony fretboard on this one i do i do like it it just it doesn't really because you've got the ebony you got the black the gold really pops i think i prefer the socal over the sandemus but that red one was very cool. But I like this. I would happily have that. If you want to, if you want to give it to me, Charvel, I'll take it. I'll take one for the team. Okay. So another. Uh, so made in Japan. Soko this time. It comes in black or white. I have a black and white. A white with a black pickguard Soko, and it is one of the best guitars that I've got. It currently needs a bit of surgery, a bit of fixing up because I had a sustainiac put in the neck, and unfortunately there are a few problems with the workshop that were while we're installing it. So I need to go and get that sorted out. But when I do, that's just going to be the best guitar. I've been thinking about putting a white Seymour Duncan Invader in the bridge. Again, we've got the JB in the bridge, perfect. Same single coils, same Goto locking tram, graphite reinforcement. I don't think I've got graphite reinforcement in my neck. Not not this neck, the Charvel neck love this the only thing that could make this guitar more perfect would be to put a reverse headstock on it then that would be the one again this has got the extended cutaway so i'm guessing it must be a, a japanese guitar i think part of the mj series because mine is the pro mod so it's more of a traditional uh, strat style it's, it's cool in black is it's not i wouldn't pick it in black uh I, I wouldn't go for that guitar just not really into black strat style guitars to be honest I say that this one this is very very cool so this is pro mod so this is the mexican series and i do it in white as well and red this or oh, orange that kind of looks really red to me let me know what you think down below is that orange or red yeah it's, it's red i like relic guitars but i generally i prefer the higher end relic guitars because i think that some of the uh, some of the lower end fender ones that go with a relic thing kind of looks quite fake but these pictures these at least the pictures they make it look unbelievable and it looks like it's kind of a satin finish it doesn't say or maybe it does it does in the specs oh, so it's distressed nitro so it's going to continue to age i love this and ho hopefully this means that they're all kind of a bit different as well they're not going to be aged in exactly the same way so you might get a good one you might get a not so good one but the, the ones that they pictured they look like they're worn in exactly the same way so maybe they have some way of doing it so it's the wear is exactly the same in them it's a nitro finish and it will continue to go that way so that's really cool yeah so at the moment i think this 
orange one might be my favorite one which i never thought i'd be saying an orange sandemus would be my favorite out of the lineup out of the new guitars but this is the world we live in the white one looks really cool as well it looks a lot like they've that signature model that they've got I, i'm not sure i forgot the person's name i don't even know what band he's in or oh, oh, when i saw the name and it wasn't somebody i recognized and i've seen like people like justin hawkins have been playing it and loads of other people that it seems really out of character maybe richie sambora as well so i've seen richie sambora and justin hawkins play this like a charvel that's been aged so maybe off the back of the success of that they've decided to bring these in i really want one of these black or orange i mean sorry white or orange probably the white unless i'm feeling really adventurous love these it's got one of Floyd Rose 1000. I wish they put the Goto uh, double lock and trend, but I suppose that's a part of the MJ series. JB in the bridge and a 59 in the neck. Perfect. 12 to 16 compound radius. Graphite reinforcement. Love everything about this guitar. Is it baked maple? Because it's, it's, it looks like it. I think it's just sort of slightly tinted with the hand rubbed urethane gel. How ferro fingerboard, that's the only thing that spoils the look. And actually, it doesn't look too bad. And if it, if, it, if you get it and it is too light and kind of anemic looking, then at least you can you can still dye it. You can buy that fretboard conditioner from Monty's and give that a go. I did try it on my Les Paul Deluxe because that had quite a, a light fretboard and it didn't really work. But I know loads of other people have had really good success with it. So I'm going to give it another try. $1,600. That's a lot. How much was the Japanese one? The Japanese one was 1700. I suppose it's just how much everything is now. Without taking the price into consideration, this this is the one. I mean, it's not going to hold its value as much as the Made in Japan one, is it? But you can't always think about that. Okay, so this is, out of all the um, Charvel shapes, I think the DK, depending on the right specs and that kind of thing, is usually my favorite but straight away not a fan of the gloss black not a fan of the covered pickups maybe covered in the neck and uncovered in the bridge would be cool and not a fan of the vintage style trem it's got a very sir kind of tom anderson um sir i mean it looks it looks so nice yeah but i just want to see it with a locking tram a double locking tram i don't want to see it with this uh, two point vintage style tram i'm sure it's very good just aesthetically it looks wrong i want on a super strat to be a super strat and charvel makes super strats that's what you buy charvel for oh, i just got the old toothpaste kind of logo on the headstock which i would normally really like something about it just doesn't look very cool does it i think on the old the old style headstocks they looked really good this one i mean it's a very classy looking guitar i just like guitars that kind of stand out a bit more than that this is way too sophisticated to be a Charvel. Come on. Okay, next is the Pro Mods uh, DK. Oh, so I like the, so it's the Dinky. It's almost the same as the one we just saw, except it's got uncovered pickups and a coil tap and different knobs, but it's $1,200. Wait, what am I missing here? Is this set neck? No. Full shreds and an Alnico 2 Pro in the neck. You go to 510 Tremolo. Yeah, good Tremolos, but it just looks so boring. Oh, and then we've got some bases. Don't care about that. And then, what is this? Okay, so this is a ProMod DK24. Again, with the boring tremolo. You definitely can't say the paint uh, finish is boring, can we? Malibu Sunset. It looks like a tequila sunrise cocktail. Love the colour. I'm, I'm going to admit, I love it. I've got a few other colours. What's this? Love the bubblegum pink. Again, needs a Floyd, needs a locking tremolo. What are they doing? Yet another gloss black DK24. So this is the third one in a row. Satin burgundy mist. I think I, this so this one's not new because I'm sure I've seen this before and I've seen this blue. Oh, I just put a Floyd on it and I mean and put a Floyd on that one and those two would be the winners. Uh, okay, so for me the winner is probably this one, uh, probably that one. I'd have to see them in person, but I think that they've released some really cool guitars. I just done the EVH reaction to their new stuff and I was slightly underwhelmed, but this is really cool. I like this. I'm glad that I checked this out. The next one I'm going to do is the Jackson one, so that one, that one will be after this. For now, this is more exciting than the EVH releases, a lot more exciting than the Ibanez releases, and yeah, I think I prefer it to the e ESP had a few cool releases, but for me, yeah, it's the, this, it's the Charvel and ESP they're leading at the moment. Please let me know down below which ones were your favourite and what you thought about my picks. Uh, if you haven't yet, check out this video here. It's about the EVH lineup, about their new, release, uh, about new releases, and compare them to the Charvel ones and let me know what you think about that as well. Thanks so much for watching. See you later.